Mr. President, I, I take this time because we're in the last, we hope, few days before we adjourn for the holidays. And there are certain legislation that we must get done before we leave town. We call these the must-pass bills that we have to make sure are enacted uh, before uh, Congress adjourns for the year. One, of course, is what President Obama has been talking about. We need to deal with the payroll uh, tax issue. We don't want to see middle-income families find on January 1st that their uh, paychecks, the amount of money actually in their, uh, that they take home is actually reduced. During this economic time, we, we got to make sure that the, uh, the money uh, remains constant and that we don't want to see additional burdens placed on middle-income families. We all know that we have to deal with the Medicare extenders, including the physician problems. We have a, uh, a flawed system for reimbursing physicians. It would cause a substantial reduction in, in rates for physicians to receive, 27 percent reductions. That would affect not only the fairness of our reimbursement system at, to our doctors, but would also affect access that Medicare patients would have uh, to physicians. So we need to ac absolutely take care of that issue. We have the, uh, the omnibus appropriation bill. And I certainly hope that's going to be an appropriation bill so we can give some predictability through the remainder of this fiscal year. We've got to get that done uh, before we adjourn for the, uh, for the holidays. And then we also need to pass the tax extenders. And I know the presiding officer has been very actively involved in the energy uh, extenders, uh, knowing full well the importance not only to New Mexico but to our entire country. Th those extenders need to be pass, because if not, we lose jobs. This involves the ability to move forward with sustainable energy projects that will mean jobs in our community and energy self-sufficiency for America. But I want to take this time to talk about another must-pass bill before we adjourn for the year, and that is the extension of the unemployment insurance. To me, that is absolutely essential that we get that done before Congress adjourns for the year. I think we've got to make it clear what this extension would mean is that we would be providing the same number of weeks of unemployment insurance for those who are currently in the system who've lost their jobs that we have for the last couple of years for those who've been caught up in this economic downturn. We're not extending beyond what, what the unemployed have already received. So we are basically extending the current policy because we're still in a very difficult economic circumstance. For every job that is open, there are four people who apply for it. So it's very difficult for someone who's unemployed to be able to find employment. And as I know the presiding officer knows, if you're unemployed and looking for work, it's much more difficult. So for all those reasons, the right thing to do is to acknowledge that the number of weeks of benefits should not be reduced at this period, that those who are currently in the system who lost their jobs should be able to get the same number of benefits that uh, earlier unemployed were able to get during this economic period. And that's what this legislation would do. Unemployment insurance is an insurance program. During good times, we pay more into the system. During economic downturns, we take the money out of the system. It's counter secular so that we help our economy as well as help our families. This is the right thing to do. There are many families that this is the lifeline. This is their ability to, to be able to provide food on the table for their families or to keep their, their home from going into foreclosure or to pay their rents or, or to take care of their family needs. This is the right thing to do from the point of view of families that have been caught up uh, in this economic period. It also, by the way, would affect millions of our families. Over the next year, if we were not to extend the unemployment insurance benefits, it's estimated that six million families would be denied their full benefits that they are receiving currently. Six million families. Each one uh, is a family in our community that would be adversely affected. It also helps our economy. Mark Zandi, who is the economic, was the economic advisor for the then presidential candidate, uh, Senator McCain, uh, said that for every dollar that we put out in the economy, 
for unemployment benefits, we get back $1.61 in our economy. The multiplier effect of unemployment compensation is positive to our economy. So once again, when we're trying to stimulate job growth, this helps us. How does it help us? Well, the people who receive their unemployment benefits visit our local shops, our small businesses in our community, keeping our economy moving, keeping our, our, our path forward to, to job growth. So for all those reasons, for the, the fact that it's the right thing to do for, for families, uh, for, for what the intent of unemployment insurance is all about, it's the right thing for us to do. It also helps our economy. Mr. President, this must be on our list of must-pass legislation. We've got to get this done before we can adjourn for the remainder of the year.